Everybody has a breaking point, and this is mine. Like, it's cause, honestly, I've been thinking about this for like about a year now, and I feel like now's the time to finally go through with it. But I honestly just might. I'm honestly thinking about leaving the Toho fandom because. Again, this is my breaking point, but people are now s saying that if you don't ship any of the characters together, you know, f a franchise that's all female fictional characters, if you don't ship any of them with one another, you're immediately homophobic. Like, what logic is that? What, where's the logic behind that? Like, if I call you a pedophile, does that make you a pedophile? No, it fucking doesn't. Like, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against gay people. Like, I don't care if you're gay, lesbian, bi, whatever. I don't care. That's your business. And honestly, as long as you don't, you know, say, Oh, it is part of my personality. Or, ooh, it's who, what makes me who I am. Like, no. Then, no. I won't like someone like that. Or you're... A terrible person like I will not support you on uh, if you're like either one of those kinds of people but again just because I say you're a pedophile does that make you a pedophile no like sure that's a little extreme but so is calling someone homophobic when they're not homophobic like I have a and who used to be my uncle who I looked up to as a kid growing up all the fucking time. But yeah. A pansexual. Transgender aunt who was ma un ma male first. Knew her as my uncle for like 17 years almost. And you know what? I'm honestly proud of her. Like, granted, she is family, so. That's good on her. That's her business, but. So it honestly has nothing to do with me. Again, that make case in point, and in short, I have nothing against gay people unless you're a shitty person. Does that make me homophobic? No, it doesn't. It's... And for the Toho fandom to immediately just call you homophobic if you don't ship any of the female characters, it just blows my mind that people are re willing to go through those extreme manner measures just to push their head cannons, Which... Honestly, are mostly pretty shitty to begin with. Like, the, no one gives a shit about your head cannons. Like, you're the only one who's... You're the only ones who care. Like... If you have a head cannon based on, you know, like, stuff... Like, in canon... Which, you know, is what the head cannons are meant to be ba built off of. Cannon? then yeah that's fine but if you literally just say oh this character's gay for this character just because I said so or something like that without including like any actual evidence then your head cannon is basically just invalid because you have no valid evidence as to why it would be canon at all And honestly, I'm, I, I honestly usually side with the creator of like a franchise, but, or something like that. But honestly, some things you just can't like support no matter who it is. So, yeah, and Toa was no different. <laughs> like, like, I don't... 
like or hate the Final Fantasy series, like granted my favorite game ever is the original Final Fantasy 1, more specifically the PS1 version, which I honestly need to play again, it's such a fucking good game. Probably play that on the ride to the airport later, pick up my mom, but anyways that's not important, like the creator of the Final Fantasy series himself said there's no such thing as a quote unquote real Final Fantasy game like that's like no we have games like Final Fantasy 14 that exist like sure every Final Fantasy game is basically an RPG and there are many sub genres of RPG but there are some things that Certain games should not be. Final Fantasy should not be an MMO. I mean, just take a look at fucking Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Good game. Granted, it's a bad Metal Gear Solid game. It's a good game, but it's a bad Metal Gear Solid game. Because when you think of Metal Gear Solid, what's the first thing you think of? I mean, sure, it's got combat, but the thing you most associate with Metal Gear? Stealth. You think of stealth when you think of Metal Gear. Right? Revengeance has none of that. So, you can't really say, like, there's no such thing as a real Final Fantasy game or anything like that. There are some things that certain franchises should not head towards. Because Revengeance is quite literally a hack and slash so if I wanted to play like a hack and slash I'll play like some of the older God of War games Devil May Cry if I were to ever buy any of that those games or fucking just might as well just play Bayonetta like that's literally what Revengeance is <laughs> that's all it is it's just a hack and slash I I could honestly just play one of the other alternatives if I want to play something like that. But again, Metal Revengeance shouldn't be a shouldn't have been a hack and slash. It's a good game, just not a good Metal Gear Solid game. And yes, it is possible for a game to be good, but not a good game for that franchise. Now, why am I bringing this up? Honestly, because you know. It all comes back to the There's no real such thing as Final Fantasy As a real Final Fantasy game Argument That the creator of the Final Fantasy series made Like usually I would side with the creator of a franchise But if it's something stupid like that Like no <laughs> No thank you You're a fucking clown at that point Like no Granted, again, I don't love or hate the Final Fantasy games. Like, I'll play certain ones. I'll play certain Final Fantasy games. More specifically, 1 and 7. The original version of 7. Because that's, that's actually an RPG and not what the remake was. It basically felt like a... I know this is going to be weird for me to say since, you know, I do like games like Dark Souls and stuff like that. But it feels, the Final Fantasy remake basically feels just like that, except with an actual story attached. So, it may, be, sound, it may sound weird for me to not like Final Fantasy VII remake when I like games like Dark Souls and stuff like that and do play from time to time. It just didn't feel right, honestly. But, you know what? I don't pander people for liking it or disliking it. Like, I personally don't like the remake. Granted, it's better story-wise than the original is, but gameplay-wise, it just doesn't feel like an RPG, really. But, you know what? And, 
that brings me to my next point. Like, the... Uh, people should enjoy things how they want argument. Like... There's some th things people... Sh there's some ways people shouldn't enjoy things. Like, I've... Ex trust me, I have a lot of experience. Like... There are people who literally join fandoms just to ship characters. Don't even care about the characters, plot, anything like that. They literally join fandoms to ship characters. I have seen that shit, okay? I have been around, trust me. I've been around, so I've seen shit like that happen. Which is why shipping characters from a cast that's almost all females is fucking stupid because I have seen that case in the fan Toho fandom as well. Like, I have seen people literally join the fandom just to ship characters. Like, granted, sure, the it's it's not. I'm not gonna say it's wrong to ship characters, but. If that's all you really join a fandom for, and that's all you really, like, do in the fandom, you don't read, like, any of the official manga, don't play any of the games, something like that, you literally just do shit like that, like, then, yeah, you're enjoying it, things for the wrong reason, like, just stop. Fandom has gotten to the point to where... You know, I can't even enjoy a lot of the characters I like anymore. <laughs> it's it's also boils down to the fact that people are saying, Oh, this character is only such and such. Or, ooh, this character is only enjoyable because... Blah, 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 blah. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, if I like a character, I like a character because... They have a great design, they have great personality, they have a great develop character they have great character development. Like I could go on about this, especially when it comes to the Yu-Gi-Oh protagonists. Like again, I I again I could go on about that, but I'm not going to because this is basically about the Toho fandom and why I'm leaving it, honestly. But, yeah, it's it all boil, basically boils down to the fans are fucking awful. And I really just want to, don't want to associate with myself anymore, with them anymore. And it's hard. To, and I know I'll never truly be able to, like, disassociate myself from the fans, but... Because, you know, they're fucking everywhere. And no matter what I do, I literally can't escape shit like that. So, honestly, I'm going to try my best to leave the fandom. But also, I it's going to be hard to leave the fandom. Like, I'm not leaving it entirely yet. I'm again. I'm thinking. Of, I'm thinking of leaving the fandom because I'm at my breaking point at this point. Like, but honestly, I'm not gonna leave it entirely. I'm just gonna ease up on the stuff, and I'm just gonna, you know, enjoy things for the what they are as everyone should. Because honestly, that's what they're there for. Just to enjoy things the way they are. Now don't get me wrong. Some character ships in Toho first would honestly make sense. Like, they would. But... If you don't have any factual evidence as to why you think the ship would work. 
Nobody gives a shit. Like they say, oh, but they're my friends, they support me. Yeah. That's kind of what they have to do. They are your friends. They will support you through basically anything. <laughs> that's like a parent. That's like... Think of that like drawing you drew made in like preschool when you're like four years old and your parents loved it. Think about that. Did they love it? Very likely not. They probably hated it. And they, cause you know, you were four years old and preschool at the time, you were, and the child. They only said they loved it just to, so they wouldn't hurt your feelings. Like, that's basically what, friends of people who, that's basically what friends do at this point. Always, and probably have always, always have done. So, honestly, you, I mean, I know if people find this, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for it, but honestly, I get it all the time at this point, so it's re not really going to really do anything to me. So, honestly, it's, you're basically, if you send me hate for this, like, you're honestly just wasting your time. Because, again, I laugh at people when they give me hate, because it's honestly really fucking funny. <laughs> it's like, I've been called every name in the book, I've been called, told every insult, literally, I've been told literally fucking everything at this point like nothing is original anymore it's it kind of it's just stop it please like if you don't agree I, I at least think you should take what I just said into consideration But if you don't, like, that's on you. It's. I'm just at my breaking point. Like, I don't really, like, I honestly don't enjoy things anymore. Like, I used to. Woo! But, anyways. Yeah, it's. I honestly just, I honestly just can't stand the fandom anymore. Like, I'm not, again, I'm not completely disassociating myself from the fandom yet. Not entirely. But I'm going to slow things down. I, I'm just going to consume things every so often. Like, quote unquote, consume. I said, I'm going to take in things every so often. But yeah, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments if you watch this video. But yeah, anyways, at least take what I say into consider. At least take what I said into consideration, because just because you don't agree with something doesn't mean you shouldn't like respect people because it's especially nowadays where everybody is literally a fucking sn snowflake we're literally the most harmless thing with the fucking it's 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 funny, but it's also sad that people get offended by literally fucking everything nowadays, like... But yeah, anyways... <laughs> let me know, again, let me know what you think. I'm always happy to he hear what you have to say. And thank you for watching.